Welcome all Assassin's Creed fans! Today we will continue our comprehensive collector's editions guide. So, where did we stop last time? I know, we are going to New World. We are going to discover or more rediscover America, meaning we are going to speak about Assassin's Creed 3 Collector's Editions. So, let's start! Seeing how popular that Animus Encyclopedia were in Europe, Ubisoft finally decided to give something special to North America region. And that was UB Workshop Edition. They took an idea to have a look like a secret mail delivered package and that's how it looked there was a devon miles name on it last time we were spending with that guy of course there was encyclopedia there this time it was 2.0 white version a part of that there was a sealed envelope which became a headache of all ubisoft fans because many people wanted to keep their collection intact so a lot of those envelopes were not opened some were opened by force with several results and some smart ones use different ways like hot steam or water or something like that anyway that envelope contained five lithographs on the top of that there was also a comic book maybe for those that didn't like that much reading in that big white book anyway other than that, America got limited patriotic edition, literally called limited edition. It contains statue of Connor proudly standing on some rock and behind him was American flag. And if that was not American enough, you also got a big one that you can decorate your room with. This must have been a very good gift for US citizens. But how about Canadians or Mexicans? Mm, not so sure. Additionally, you also got Washington Journal and a belt buckle. And that belt buckle was actually the most useful thing out of all that. That is why it is a little bit harder to find a complete edition with the buckle. Europe also got their version of limited edition. They got the same statue with that small American flag, same Washington diary, but they didn't get the buckle and the big flag. They traded those two items for two lithographs. And if you didn't want to be that patriotic, you went for a smaller join or die version. And that was a daring title, I would say. It just contained Washington Diary and that small favorite Connor coin in a neat leather sachet. All was packed in a carton box. Given these choices, Spain was thinking, what to do here? They were not that patriotic, certainly not that US patriotic, so FNAC came to rescue and they made their own Selección El Cazador collection. The idea was very simple. Put in the game and then the different statue called Connor the Hunter and instead of that maybe not so useful limited edition decoration they put there a neat t-shirt and a buckle of course. I would call this the most useful edition of them all. And we are going to Russia. And it seems that just like in Europe, also their collector's editions are slowly drying out. This time we only got special edition. Yes, this time it's the correct name. This one had a part of the neat case, comic fall and the only map we ever got in these collector's editions. Map of Boston. 
And this is all when it comes to recognizable collector's editions. Now to the long list of honorable and dishonorable mentions. First, we have something that was supposed to be but never happened and later on transformed into UB Workshop edition. I am talking about Mysterious Allegiance Pack. Despite that it was announced by Ubisoft, it was never released. Maybe because it contained American flag pack in a box that you would nowadays identify as European Union box. Who knows? Next one we have Encyclopedia Edition. That one actually did happen. An idea from Amazon. They more or less copied UB Workshop Edition minus those five lithographs. However, they never bothered with some kind of special packaging, so that's why it ended up in my honorables and dishonorable picks. In Europe, in Czech Republic to be exact, there was something reported as X-Zone edition. There was never such edition. As many times before, local retailer was offering some pre-order gifts. In this case, it was a small notice book and a real goose feather with a small poem packed on the side of it. So that's how they were attracting people. And when they ran out of this, they were just giving out other stuff. And that other stuff you will see in a moment again. Now we are moving to Japan. There were actually three editions reported. One was supposed to be called Japanese Limited Edition, containing that first Kono statue. Yes, that patriotic one. However, I didn't find any outer packaging in order to confirm this edition. And another one was so-called Famitsu DX Edition, containing that second statue of Connor, Connor the Hunter, and yet again, I was unable to find any photos of an outer packaging. So both of these ended up at the end of this video. And then we have so-called ultra rare edition. It was actually a raffle for four life-size statues plus the game. Interestingly, you could buy them anyway from Atakus. More expensive, of course, but still you could. Japan was not the only one to have that raffle idea. I have found a similar one from Australia as well, for the same statue. Australia. We are finishing with you today. This time it was not a raffle, but an auction. For 10 big leather cases, containing all kind of small Assassin's Creed merchandise. I would call it Leftovers for the Good Cause edition. Why Leftovers? Because you can find these merchandise items popping here and there, here in Czech Republic, there in Japan, in Ubi work days, but the money taken from these auctions were given to a local hospital, that's why it was for a good cause. It is still a very honorable mention, despite that I do not regard it as a collector edition. And with this huge one, the biggest one on my list, we are ending today's session. Next time we will become pirates of Caribbean. Those a bit more real ones, actually. And we will be talking about Black Flag. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like. Do not forget to subscribe and comment what you think about these editions, if you have any of these, and what would you like to see in future videos. Thank you very much. Bye.